Toby here back for another video. In today's video, we are going to be hitting a strongman event session. A really fun one today, um, but with a few caveats we'll get into. But first, I have to thank you guys so much for 500 subscribers. I have been pushing for that for a little while now and we finally hit it. So thank you so much for getting us there. On to a thousand. But yeah, without further ado, let's jump into what we're going to plan to do this session. So this session is the usual log press, so we'll start with that. Uh, got six sets of 102 kilos, which we will be doing uh, floor to overhead, and it's sort of six reps of non-uniform, uh, six sets rather of non-uniform reps. So we're doing a set of one, a set of two, a set of three, then a set of one, a set of two, a set of three. So should be good fun. Uh, I'm not going to push it massively hard today. If something feels off, I'm going to leave it because I injured my knee earlier in the week this week um it seems to all be better now but push pressing might aggravate it a little bit so just playing it safe um this week i've had to skip like squats and stuff like that so uh desperately want to still deadlift tomorrow so i'm just going to play it play it safe see what happens hopefully the knee stays intact but that should be the plan with log should be pretty good i've had actually a week off of log uh, because i went and trained with laws uh, down at his place and did some axle I hit a axle PB of 115 kilo. Let's roll the clip. We want to see it. Let's go, come on. Yes, no, big pop, come on, big pop. Yes, mate, no. Let's see it. Yes! And also well down there, we hit a farmer's walk PB of 140 kilograms per hand for 10 meters. I literally went over there to try and see if I could do a pick with them and pick them up. Felt good, so I started moving and I actually didn't end up recording it because I just thought it was just going to be a pick and uh, not going to move. But luckily, Loz came in clutch and recorded it on his phone and sent me the footage. So again, let's roll the clip of that. Come on in. Nice. Nice, mate. Go on, boy. Go on, all go the way. way all, all the way. way, mate. All the way. Go on, Toby. Finish Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Good, Good lad. Nice awesome. So yeah, two awesome PBs and a bunch of other fun uh, event stuff we did last week. Obviously didn't record it for YouTube. It was my first time down training with Lost. Didn't want to be shoving a camera everywhere. So I'll keep that to the home gym here. And I thought I'd provide you guys with a strongman events day here with a few highlights from last week. So yeah, as I said, we're doing log to start with. And then we're going to be going on to the usual accessories. Uh, so some chain bench, some shoulder pin press and stuff. I probably won't show you the accessories because they're the same every week and we really want to save a lot of time for the fun stuff which is going to be some more stone lifting so i'm really focusing on my technique with the stones uh trying to get them better and better uh so i'm going to do the same as before stone over yoke uh but this time hopefully with a lot better technique uh and then depending on how that goes may also crack out the sandbag and do some sandbag over some higher yoke which is something i did uh, last week at Loz's did a 100 kilo sandbag over like a six foot yoke or a six foot something. It was ridiculous. It was definitely above my head height, which is, yeah, it was a tall, tall yoke. It was ridiculous. So very, very happy to have got that for 100 kilo, but may do some more of that today. But without further ado, we're just going to start with some log and there's nothing really more to do than to do it. So let's jump in and get some of those heavy sets of log underway.
so there are the three of the six sets I'm doing for log. I decided to only include three of them, the one, two, and three, um, just because if I had to repeat that again, it will drag on a bit, and I don't want to keep you guys too long on each montage without hearing me talk. So, uh, yeah, here are the three sets. They were pretty good. So the first one, really nice and easy, 102 kilo, very comfortable weight for me. Second set, I got the first rep really easy and then just couldn't get the grip on the clean for the second rep, which was uh, really annoying, really frustrating. I've been doing a lot of work on my clean um, and thought I had it in a really good place, but this t-shirt was just too slippy for it. So chalked up massively. And uh, the third rep, third set, as you saw, I absolutely smashed it. Three really nice controlled reps. Clean smashed every time. The elbow's in a good position on the press. Felt good. I did leave about, maybe I did about 80% 80, 80 70% power on the push press just because I'm still a bit wary of that knee injury. Uh, so it wasn't quite as snappy as perhaps it usually would. But I got all the reps. Um, and then the main important part about these floor to overheads is that uh, the clean really comes together well. And the whole movement moves controlled and efficiently. And I feel like I nailed that once I chalked up. So, yeah, did three more sets of those. No dramas there. I thought it was important, though, to include the uh, failure second set for you guys to see. Just to show you that not every set is perfect. Not every session is without dramas. So, yeah, honestly, really happy with those. Uh, having a week off log as well. Feeling powerful, feeling good, feeling controlled. Uh, so, yeah, next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get my accessories done. And then we'll catch you back when we move on to the stones. So it's time to hit the stones. So my benching went quite well. Uh, a bit sore now, obviously I benched yesterday as well. I've had to rearrange my sessions this week, but all in all very good. My upper body is very tight, very pumped up, but yeah, the next thing is to put the Atlas stones over this. As you can see, I've got a bit of a catching area. This is sort of very 50-50 as to whether it performs the function that we want it to, but it'll do, it protects the floor anyway. But what we're gonna do, I'm going to start on the 60 kilo, do a bit of a warm-up, um, which I will be rolling over the top of me talking now. Um, yeah, just getting it to the lap uh, and a few over the bar as well. Just getting a feel for it, getting the technique smashed out. Then we'll crank up the 100, uh, see if we can go for a couple singles, maybe a couple reps. Uh, we will see. And yeah, we'll just go on how it feels and see how it, how it goes. So you've seen my 60 kilo warm-up now. Let's jump into a little montage of what we did with the 100 kilo log, uh, log rock, 100 kilo at the stone. <laughs> I was going to go for a double on that one, but yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> I slam dunked it straight in the tyre, which is fine, but I obviously can't roll it out for a double. But stones are feeling good. They're feeling 
Okay, I'll talk a bit more in just a second. So I've actually got you set up on a, on a tripod thing because my arms are so sore. After doing those stones, my forearms are like proper sore, which means I'm doing it right. If it doesn't hurt in the biceps, that's good because you don't want to be using your biceps. For the stone, you want to use your arms like hooks, get as much surface area as you can on the stone. So yeah, that'll be all in the uh, forearms and upper back and shoulders, but my triceps are really sore from uh, all the log and the benching. So holding my phone up like that is just, it's not working. Uh, I tried to record this clip about three or four times, but my arms just wouldn't want to hold it up for that long. But stones, a uh, bit of a win today, bit of a loss today. They felt harder than they did last time I did them, um, but they felt easier when I got them right. So because I'm not using tacky and I'm just using chalk, as you can see, the, either you hit the sweet spot on the stone where your arms want to stick to them and grip, or you just completely slide and have zero grip. So that's why the first sort of set of those I really was struggling and only managed to get it about a couple of inches off the floor. I just couldn't hit that sweet spot. The strength is there. It's just about the grip and latching onto the stone. And then the second set, I got a double. Um, Managed to hit the sweet spot twice in a row, felt really, really good. Uh, and then the third set, as you saw, got a single and then it went in the stupid hole uh, in the tyre. So I didn't bother going for a double. But yeah, it's uh, they're getting better. Obviously, doing a double over over four foot or 50 inches or whatever it is, uh, is a PR for me. And it felt easy. I felt I could probably have done a couple more reps. Didn't want to push it today. It's just about getting that grip and getting that sweet spot. And I think the more that I use these stones... Uh, the grippier they'll become, the more the chalk will stay on them. Uh, that's why the first set was really struggling because obviously it was on a smooth stone. All the chalk was just instantly coming off. So I keep having to reapply chalk, reapply chalk. And uh, that's why I, the further it got on, the more it was grippy. Um, I'm wary of getting tacky. I know tacky is uh, is very useful for stones and pretty much everyone uses it. But um, I'm not sure whether I should get some and use it in this in this home gym just because... I don't want everything to be really covered in tacky. I know um, it'll probably get to a point where I have to, or at least get some to train with. But for now, where I'm just messing about with them, uh, I'm going to stick without. Uh, also, can't really afford to keep buying too many different things. Um, you'll probably have noticed I've sacked off the smelling salts for a bit. Uh, just yeah, just can't afford to keep buying them and having them go stale. So uh, yeah, I'm going to keep training with chalk. It's been feeling said decent the technique's getting a lot better sent them off to coach Loz, so we'll see what he says but yeah really productive session i think so yeah with that being done that is the end of this video there will likely be another short break in videos over the next uh, little while i wanted to get another video out this week just so you guys weren't without videos for another sort of month or so but i'm off uh, away for a week next week so i'm having a full week off training um which yeah is uh it's obviously not going to be great for content and then uh, when I come back, I should be able to record some for you. So it might be uh, a week or two until you see my face on here again. But in the meantime, go and follow my Instagram where you'll see uh, pretty much daily posts of whenever I train. I post my top sets pretty much every time I do them over there. I know a couple of you guys have already made the migration over to Instagram uh, and comment on my stuff over there. So it'd be really appreciated if you do that. Uh, and of course, if you want to stay up to date with the videos, I try and release them weekly. It's more like every two or three weeks at the minute. But Work's busy, life's busy, YouTube isn't a full-time thing, nor will it probably ever will be, so it's something we've got to deal with. But yeah, if you want to stay up to date for when I do post and keep on top of it, then leave a like down below and subscribe uh, and leave a comment below with anything you'd like to see. I post my training and I try and keep you guys along with the journey with uh, helpful tips and tricks from a normal size strongman doing somewhat mortal weights compared to some of these guys. Uh, so I think this channel is probably quite helpful for that. And yeah, if you know anyone that might find it interesting, please share it to them. But without further ado, I've been Toby. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.